7.2, normal distributions. Let's take a look here at normal distributions. All right, so we got a normal curve. Normal curve is exactly what you were uh, told of might happen with some of your college classes, which barely happens with any of them, but just letting you know. Bell curve states that um, you have a smaller amount on each of the ends of the spectrum. So example of grades would be on one end you have your A's and only maybe one, two, three A's. On the other end you have your F's, only a handful of F's. And the biggest chunk of people that you have, or scores for example, be C's. And that's the big bulk of your curve. And basically here's what a bell curve roughly looks like. Um, normal distribution is the area under the curve. So when we talk about normal distribution we're talking about all that area that is underneath that curve. So remember the area under the curve equals 1 because we are talking about percents. So it all adds up to 100%. So all those decimals add together to give you a total of 1. So it's all going up to 100%. So the first area, um, the first area has 68%. So 68% lies within one standard deviation from the mean. This all makes sense a little bit more um, in a little bit. Um, two says that 95% um, lies within two standard deviations from the mean, which once again we will talk about in a little more detail in a minute. And three, it says 99.7% lies within three standard deviations of the mean, which once again we will talk about more here in a little bit with this picture. First of all, before we get started, that slanted X of the line over it, that's our abbreviation now for mean. So if I'm talking about the mean of an object, the average of an object, we're going to use that X of the um, slanted x with the line over top. And that uh, sign over there stands for standard deviation. So if we're talking about standard deviation, you're going to see that there as well. Obviously, the mean is in the middle. The whole point of a bell curve is that the most, your biggest chunk of people all lie in the middle of your curve there. So that is your mean right there. Your average is in the center. Um, this direction is one standard deviation over. The mean plus one standard deviation. So I'm going one standard deviation, which is why I have the mean plus the standard deviation sign there. And the other direction, it is the mean minus a standard deviation on that side. So notice how it's one standard deviation away on both sides. This side right here and this side right here. This is the mean and plus two standard deviations away. So that means this would be the mean minus two standard deviations away. This would be the mean plus three standard deviations away and this over here would be the mean minus three standard deviations away. On the page before this we were sitting there speaking and I told you about the first thing to make a little more sense right now. I said in one standard deviation from the mean you have a total of 68 percent. Well in between this line right here is 34 percent and so is this one 34 percent totaling 68 percent right within one standard deviation of the mean you have 68 percent each one being 34 then we went on to say that you had a total of in two standard deviations um, you had what 95 um, percent uh, within two standard deviations of the mean so this is 13 and a half here and this is 13 and a half here all of those um, adding up there we got 34, 34 is 68, um, 68 and 26, 27, so 68, yep, 95 percent, all in the two standard deviations, so notice here's the mean over two spots is um, two standard deviations each way, so that's 95 percent, so what that means is on a test, someone's taking a test, 95 percent of everyone who takes a test should fall into that big chunk here within two standard deviations of the mean from down here to down here. Then we have 2.35 percent um, and the reason we have that is that takes us up to 95 points or sorry 99.7 percent of the populace should lie in here and the farther out we get notice how the farther um, the percentage is it's 0.15 percent out here and 0.15 percent out on that side as well so notice the farther you get out the farther your um, 
percentage is. And the lower your percentage, that means the, the least likely it is for people to fall in that area or in that category. So what that means is that's why, according to the bell curve, you'll have less amount of people on either end, and the bigger chunk of people should lie right smack dab in the center. So using that idea, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to stop right now, make sure that you have your graph and everything else filled in, and when we come back, we'll be able to use all of your graph um, that you have written down all your notes and burn right through all the examples here on uh, the normal distribution for 12.7.